Welcome to session nine of Training 101. In this session, we're going to review how to generate some spin for yourself. And the new learning for today is how do you return those tricky serves? Most people find when they go to a club or play a friend that's played a little bit before, that is a big problem. Our first drill for today is to see if you can get the ball to stop and come back towards you on the table. If you get really good, you could try getting it to go oh, over the net and come back. Once you've got the feel of getting the backspin on the ball, now we're gonna try the tomahawk drill. So what Jeff needs to do is he's gotta get the ball to bounce in this box, this box, and then over into that box there. Now, we're gonna do this from three positions. He's gonna start with the easiest position over in his forehand corner. Off you go, Jeff. See if you can get the ball to bounce in those three boxes. Okay. Oh. Not quite. Oh, missed the uh, end of the table. I need more side spin. M missed the last box. Well done. Yes. So he's done the first position. Now he's gonna move into the middle of the table and hit it from that middle line. But I still need to get it to bounce here. Yep, same boxes. This box, that box, and then that box. I'm gonna need a lot of side spin. More side spin. Oh, oh that was close. Okay. Got. Well done. Yes. All right, he's graduated past level one and two. He's now gonna move on the really tough level, level three, doing it from his backhand corner. Still first Same time box, here. yep. Okay. Oh, yes. Too easy. High five. Well done. So for Jeff, you saw that was pretty easy. But what I want you to do is have a go at that. So doing it from the forehand corner first, then from the middle, and then from the backhand corner. Your challenge is to see how many serves it takes for you to complete it from those three positions. The best you can do is three. Now we're gonna work out how to return the tomahawk serve. It's not like that. When Jeff does the tomahawk serve, it's going to spin off my bat out to there. What I need to do is to be able to counteract that spin. The best way is by just using the angle of your racket. So what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna turn my racket this way to counteract the spin. And now the ball goes back straight where I want it. The drill now is to get your partner to do some tomahawk serves and you need to work out the angle you need to get that serve back on the table. That was pretty good, but it was over there. I'm getting it closer to the middle. The next thing we're going to progress to is we're going to put a target on the table and I'm gonna try and return the ball to that target. The first target I'm gonna aim for is gonna be right in the middle of the table. So Jeff's gonna do a tomahawk serve and I'm gonna try and return it to that target. Just working on getting the angle of the racket right. As you get that target, you can start to make it a little bit more difficult Perhaps put it right in the corner. That was close. Yes. The principle of using the angle of your racket to return the spin can be applied to any type of spin, whether it's from the tomahawk serve or the pendulum or the backhand or any other spin that your opponent can conjure up for you. On the Ping Skills website, you will find heaps of other tutorials on how to return serves. Jeff, it's games time. Yes. Now, our game today is that we're going to get Jeff to do 11 serves. They have to be tomahawk serves. And I'm gonna see how many times I can get those tomahawk serves back on the table. Let's go. Uh, none out of one. One out of two. 
and you keep going until Jeff has had 11 serves. Then you can swap over and it's my turn to serve. Okay, I clearly won the first set of games, so we've got a better challenge. What we're going to do now is we put four targets on the table. Now Jeff is going to have 11 serves again, and I have to see how many times I can hit those targets. Now, the yellow cones, because they're a little bit easier, are worth one point. The orange cones, because they're a little bit more difficult, are worth two points. So out of the 10 serves, let's see how many points I can get. Let's go, Jeff. That's zero. That's three serves. Four serves. Yes. Oh, hey, I got both, Jeff. Do I get three points? One for that and two for that? Just the one. Okay, I'm on one point and Jeff's had five serves. We keep going until Jeff has had all of his 10 serves. And then it's time for me to unleash my tomahawk serve and Jeff to try and hit the cones. Whoa, so much size there. Unleashed. Oh. Nowhere near it. As far as I can tell, he's got zero points. <laughs> we could be here a while. Just, just, just got two points. It's time to ditch the cones and it's time for some normal games. Awesome, let's get into it. So uh, don't just use the Tom Moxes. Jeff, you can use whatever you like. All right, enjoy those normal games. We've now reviewed how to generate some spin with the tomahawk serve. We've also shown you the principle of how to return some spin using the tomahawk serve. Now it's time to go out and practice some different serves and see if you can start to develop your game. Don't forget, you can go to the Ping Skills website and download a PDF with all of our training plans for Training 101.